hello everyone welcome to engineering mechanics tutorials so in this video we are going to discuss about the friction so here first uh, i would like to tell you what is a friction okay and uh, how a body experiences a friction and what is the basic definition of a friction okay and uh, what are the basic terms required basic terms related to friction which are required for required for uh, solving the problems in engineering mechanics so the first thing is we have to know what is a friction so first thing is we have to know what is a friction i think already you know already know about the friction so the basic thing is it is a force only okay friction is like a force which is acting between which is acting between two surfaces okay when body one body is in motion over another body uh, the two surfaces can experience a frictional force so that means here what is friction means here we have to understand it is a force only which is acting between the two surfaces when one body is under motion over another body okay that is about what is friction next next thing is we have to know how it takes place how it takes place in between the two surfaces why the force is taking place in between the two surfaces when surface is in motion over another surface means here whenever you consider in the universe no body is accurate accurate means 100% accurate in the smooth surface finishing that means no body is perfectly smooth so even no manufacturing process can give a smoother 100% smoother surface finishing okay because of that we are experiencing the friction in between the two contacting surfaces so even you can say that by observing the object it is extremely smooth but in the normal observation we cannot say that it is exactly smooth we'll be assuming that it is a smoother surface finished object whenever you want to see the rough surface condition which is the irregularities uh, may be taking place over the surface means by observing the object through the microscope we can find the irregularities so due to that irregularities certain interlocking property takes place in between the two surfaces when they are in contact so interlocking property means here whenever you zoom out this portion here we can see that certain irregularities by zooming out by using the microscope we can see like this irregularities so whenever you place this one object over another body so another body also can have certain irregular surface okay certain projected projected particles over the surface so projected means this irregular part only so this is called as the rough surface condition okay due to this roughness what happens here means here the interlocking of the object takes place interlocking okay whenever the matching of the irregularities takes place automatically certain interlocking takes place in between the two surfaces when you place one body over another body so in that condition when you try to pull the body or push the body by a certain force so due to this interlocking the second body can offer certain opposite force to the direction of the force we are applying okay the main reason is only the interlocking property and which is due to the rough surface condition of the two bodies so due to this roughness when you are trying to pull the body or another body certain resistive force will take place opposite the direction of the force you are applying so this opposite force is called as here friction so how it will take place means here according to the rough surface condition automatically in between the two surfaces certain force takes place which is opposite the direction of the force you are applying so this force is itself is called as the frictional force which is the simply friction okay so that is how the friction takes place in between the two surfaces the main reason is remember roughness condition which causes the irregularities on the surface okay so that is how it takes place so based upon this analysis how can we define how can we define a friction so how can we define a friction means here it is a simple sentence you can give like it is a resistive force offered by one body to another body due to the rough surface condition of the two bodies so we can say that it is a resistive force it is a resistive force uh, offered by offered by 
वन बॉडी ओवर अनदर बॉडी ओवर अनदर बॉडी ड्यू टू ड्यू टू वॉट द रीजन इज ड्यू टू रफनेस ड्यू टू रफनेस कंडीशन रफनेस कंडीशन ऑफ टू सर्फेसेस ओके सिंपल डेफिनेशन वी कैनॉट अलॉन्ग इट सो दिस इज दिंथ डेफिनेशन द सिंपल डेफिनेशन वी कैन गिव दैट The resistive force offered by one body or another body due to its roughness condition. Okay, there is a simple definition we can give for the friction. And again, one more thing we have to remember: the frictional force always acts opposite to the direction of the motion of the body or direction of the force you are applying on the body to give the motion to that body. Okay, remember that point. It always acts opposite to the direction of the force you are applying and the direction of the motion of the object is taking place over another body. So that is the. simple definition and the point to be remembered regarding the friction condition okay so again the definition is also over and the next uh, before going to the basic terms here we have to know what are the types of friction okay next is we have to know what are the different types of friction takes place different types of basic different types of the friction in between the two surfaces of the two object means first one is static friction okay and the second one is dynamic friction second one is about dynamic friction okay so in the name itself uh, static means the body is under stationary condition and the dynamic means the body is under motion condition okay na so here so static means whenever the body is under motion uh, Uh, the friction experienced by the body is called as sorry sorry for the pop up so the friction experienced by the body under stationary condition is called as a static friction and similarly the friction experienced by a body under dynamic condition that means under motion condition is called as dynamic friction so how how the friction takes place when the body is under stationary and how the friction takes place when the body is under motion means here so again assume on a ground i am taking a body of a particular weight so which is under stationary condition so when you go for practical condition here uh, practically uh, uh, think about the object so you are pushing the body to move to give the motion to displace the body from one place to another place up to certain stage even you are applying the force there will be no motion in the body okay when you practically observe when you are going the heavier bodies in that condition when you continuously increase the force then only the motion in the body takes place and for giving the motion to the body it will take some time that means even you are applying certain amount of the force during a particular time there will be there is a no motion in the body so in that condition the body is still in the under stationary condition only even you are applying certain amount of the force so in that condition what are the friction experienced by the body is called as static friction okay that means in that in that condition what is the force you are applying that is less than the friction is taking place in between the two bodies so when the force of application is less than the force of the friction so the force is taking place in between the two surfaces is called as static friction okay that is the analysis for understanding about the static friction so simple definition we can give the friction experienced by a body under stationary condition is called as a static friction and the dynamic friction means here again when you increase when you go on increasing the force on the body to push the body so at a particular stage uh, the motion of the the body starts moving okay na so after particular time when you are going on increasing the force on the body then at a particular stage uh, the motion of the body takes place so in that condition in that condition also the friction takes place in between the two bodies so whatever the friction is taking place in between the two surfaces that is less than the force you are applying so due to that less condition only the motion of the body starts in a direction in which you are applying the force okay na so under motion condition also it will be having a friction so that friction is less than the force you are applying due to that only the motion is given to the body so that kind of the friction is called as dynamic friction okay there is the analysis for dynamic friction and similarly how can we define means it is a friction experienced by a body when it is under motion 
okay so that is about the dynamic friction and similarly again whenever you consider dynamic friction there are two types again under dynamic friction first one is rolling friction and second one is sliding friction according to the type of the motion of the body according to the kind of the object is moving over the body there are two types so the rolling means here observe on a particular object a circular wheel or a disc is rotating so whenever it is rotating again wherever the contact point is taking place at that contact point it will be maintaining certain uh, certain frictional force okay now so the frictional force will be acting opposite to the direction of the motion of the body in this direction okay so automatically the friction only causes the motion of the body over another body if there is no friction in between these two particular bodies automatically the slipping of the object actually that means here the surface is extremely 100% smooth so when it is 100% smooth no motion of the uh, disc takes place the slipping of the wheel or disc takes place over the body so due to the roughness condition only we are getting the rolling of the wheel over a particular ground or a particular object and similarly sliding means also two rectangular surfaces okay assume these are the two bodies are placed so when you are trying to apply the force okay and when it overcomes the friction which is acting in between the two surfaces automatically the motion of the body starts so that means this body is sliding over the another body so whatever the friction is taking place in between the two surfaces that kind of the friction is called as sliding friction okay that is about the rolling and sliding friction here and the next we have to know what are the basic terms required the basic terms required uh, for problem solving techniques so the first term is limiting friction limiting friction so what do you mean by a limiting friction friction and limiting friction means just now i told you whenever on a particular base a object is placed and you are trying to push the body with a particular force up to particular stage it will remain under stationary condition only when the frictional force is greater than the friction so when again this force becomes more than the friction which is taking place in between the two surfaces automatically the motion starts it means a particular stage comes okay at a particular stage comes where we apply the force more than the frictional force so in that condition only the motion of the body starts that means here uh, when the body is ready to move okay when a body is ready to move in that condition whatever the friction is taking place in between the two bodies that friction is called as limiting friction okay so simple definition we can give limiting friction is defined as a friction when the body is just ready to move that means more than that force you are applying immediately the motion of the body starts so that means gradually you have increased the force over the body so when the body is ready to move that means when you apply more than that force then the motion of the body starts okay now so at a particular stage comes this force becomes equal to the maximum friction taking place in between the two contact surfaces so that maximum friction condition in between the two contacting surfaces is only called as limiting friction so more than the limiting friction when you apply the force automatically immediately the motion of the body starts that is about the limiting friction and the second one is we have to know normal reaction so what do you mean by a normal reaction we have to know normal reaction means similarly when you take any object over your body certain reaction will be applied by the surface on which it is resting okay vertically upward direction to the body even if you take on an inclined plane if you are taking a object okay so certain re reactive force will be applied by the inclined plane on which the body is resting okay now so that force is called as normal reaction okay and the next term we have to know what is coefficient of friction coefficient of friction okay what do you mean by coefficient of friction means uh, this is a term which is defined as here the symbol is used as mu the simple definition is it is the ratio of frictional force to the normal reaction okay the simple definition is mu is defined as a ratio of frictional force to the r that means here coefficient of friction is defined as a ratio of frictional force to the normal reaction is taking place in between the surface and the object 
okay and again this mu will be equal to mu is equal to sorry tan phi okay so that means here tan phi is equal to f by r here phi is what means here sorry here phi is what means which is angle of friction okay angle of friction is the phi and mu is the coefficient of friction okay i hope you understand uh, the simple explanation about the friction and what are the basic terms required for problem solving techniques and what is the definition and what do you mean by friction i hope you understand and thanks for watching my video thank you all